Guys, we're freaking out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this right here. We've never found one of <laughs> yeah. those. All right, guys, so we just finished up a fossil hunt here in this Alabama Creek. Our goal today was to hit up as much of the gravel and the water behind us as possible, sift it out and see what we can find. And we got some pretty good finds for you today. So stay tuned and check it out. I'm back. Kayla's back. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Yep, so we've only been here for a few minutes and look right down here. That is the inner keel to an ammonite. And right over here, if you look, there's the outer edge of one. That's, that's a peculiar shape right there. <laughs> that is indeed a peculiar that shape. Is, that is not a naturally occurring shape. <laughs> and so, yeah, we uh, might have just found an ammonite graveyard kind of deal here. I just noticed this one down here. Big old partial section of ammonite. Very clearly see the curve of it right there. That's pretty cool. While I was looking at those other pieces, Caleb just found this really nice section of ammonite. You can clearly see the bumps that were in the shell. And man, very nice. Now this is something we've never seen before. Look, I'm trying to get out of the shadow here. Look at all these like little lines. I'm wondering if that's some sort tubes. of- Yeah, little tubes or something. Like an anemone or something. something. Wonder if that's some sort of like coral or, I don't know. I'll put up an ID on the screen right now if I ever find out what this is. Look at this little dude. Looks just like a normal seashell that you'd see at the beach in like a modern day, but it's fossilized from the Cretaceous. Caleb? Yes? Are you Jack Black? Can you mine in a way over there? Yeah. What you working on? Ammonite. Oh. Take it. That's a really nice ammonite. A lot of the other ammonites that we found here are just pretty much clay. But this one is actually kind of harder than the others, and it's, it doesn't seem like it's going to fall apart as easy. And while he was working on that, I may or may not have stepped in the hole of gravel right here, and I scooped through it, and I found our first shark's tooth of the trip. Now, he's a little dinky man, but it's a shark tooth. Caleb, it's looking good, dude. It's looking real good. You can clearly see the circle of the shell kind of a spiral inwards and yeah that'll be good i've been looking at it for like 15 minutes now yeah <laughs> all right caleb moment of truth <laughs> let's see if he comes out <laughs> there you go perfect i don't know ammonite. what the backside looks like it's not terrible i want to flip it over i don't want to jack it up yeah because it is fractured here it's broken is a little bit look at all the pirate right here Oh yeah, there's a whole lot of pyrite right there. Very good, focus. Can't really see because of the glare of the phone. But, yeah, I, you said you don't want to flip it over? I do, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it, is, uh, it feels very fragile in my hands right yeah. now. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Wow, look at the bumps. You can see the knobs of the that shell. feels so cool. That's look, so look, nice. look, look, look at the swirl. Yeah, All the way down to the right swirl. there. Uh-huh. Oh, that's definitely one of the best ones we've found. That's a keeper. You got clay on your face, bro. I know. I I was whacking away at this thing for a while. <laughs> you were what? <laughs> you were whacking away, huh? I was beating the stew out of it. <laughs> so I got the micro sifter going a little bit, and I was just looking through. <laughs> I may or may not have just found the tiniest either Cretolamna or Cretoxyrhina ever. Yeah, look at that. That was pretty cool though. So tiny. Found another cephalopod find. This here, it, it's broken to bits, but... Really brittle. Yeah, it's very brittle. Same general cross-section of what you'd find in an ammonite. So this is either belemnite or baculite. So think of an ammonite, like a squid coming out of a shell, but the shell was long. It wasn't spiraled like an ammonite, it was just long. There seems to be a couple of them. There was one laying here, and then there's one that's pretty hard. I believe that's what this is right here. We're just pulling Buku's small teeth out of this little pocket here. Can you see this one? Yep. Another one. We're just cool. literally sitting in the same spot. We've got almost 15 teeth already. Caleb goes, I think it's a squirrel. <laughs> Man, if a squirrel from the Ice Age, maybe. <laughs> The squirrel's got teeth, but they're not like this. It could be a little raccoon. I don't know. 
Dude, I'm the amount. I'm feeling I'm it with my toes. <laughs> I'm feeling it. I'm happy dancing. I'm dancing like a little happy. Little... I'm sorry. You <laughs> should be. <laughs> you should be very, very sorry. I'm happy dancing. I'm doing the gravel dance. <laughs> Shut up. Hey, don't throw anything else on you. It's gonna go under, I think. It's gonna. Oh no. I'll be back. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, okay. This. Oh, this. What have you done? Oh, look at that. Whoa. That is really cool. Yeah. It's a jawbone or something. Hey, yo. I don't think it's a fossil. Mammal jawbone of something. Pretty cool. Modern, obviously, but. Hey, I'll take it. You can see where the teeth fit in right there. Probably deer, if I'd had to guess. What do we got? Anything. Lift it up. Drain it out. <laughs> Caleb just pulled this thing, if I can get it to focus. You scooped it up. I just saw it. Yeah, it? I scooped it up. Caleb found it in the sift. I mean, obviously, it's a vertebrae of some kind. I want to say snake, but don't quote me on that. I'll put up an idea of what it is whenever I find out exactly what it is. Into the pill bottle. What would you do if your doctor gave you a pill bottle full of shark's teeth and said, get better soon? Chug them. Chug them? In the office. Okay. Get a refill. Get a refill. Repeat the process. This implies that- I'm not done. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting into a car accident. Dying. I'm an organ donor. They're gonna cut me open. Belly full of shark's teeth. It's gonna be on the news. No one's gonna know what's going on. It's gonna be awesome. Okay. Okay, I just had to film this one. I pulled up the shovel, didn't even, didn't even sift it yet. Look at that echinoid right there. So nice. I'm pretty sure it's complete. It's perfect. Very nice. Very nice. It's a echinoid. They're relatives of starfish and sand dollars. So, very nice. All right, what's the flavor on it? What's the flavor on it? What's the flavor on Hold it? Hold on. Watermelon. <laughs> Guys, I just pulled this tooth. And I, I hate that I didn't get it on camera. It was all, just right on the surface of the shovel. But that's a Cretoxyrhina tooth right there. A larger example of the one I showed you earlier. Never complain about Cretoxyrhina teeth. They're kind of rare out here, so. Heck yeah. Let's, let's, find a, let's find a bigger one and a whole one. Oh, I found a hole. Whoa. Guys, we're freaking out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, you, you may see it already. It just looks like a piece of bone. Look at this right here. You see that socket in the top? That's a Mosasaur jaw piece. That is insane. That's where the tooth would have come out, obviously. It's part of a Mosasaur jaw, dude. We've never <laughs> found one of yeah. those. We've rarely found bones out here. Right. A toe bone, and now this. I'm not sure where to put it. Man. Put it in your uh, big pocket. In the big pocket? Big pocket. Going in the big pocket. Ugh. Going in the big pocket. I think we found a honey hole right here. Let's see if we can get There's a whole lot of gravel under us. Look at this hunchback. What are you talking about? Nothing, nothing. nothing. Oh, okay. Boy wants to go to Wendy's. Don't know that there ain't fossils at the Wendy's, you dumb boy. <laughs> you dumb. Get my you dumb, boat. dumb boy. Wait for it. Boom. <laughs> Yo, Steinkern, Steinkern. You don't see that thing? What? Look right there. Oh, yeah. Really nice thing. Girl. Oh, yeah. Look at the colors on that. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful, Beautiful. darling. Look at this. Another incredible echinoid. Look at that. Just right on the surface. Again, we're finding some good, good. We're finding some good, good stuff over here. You good? Yeah. Okay. You guys are going to look at my, my little girl arms. Oh, he's got little girl arms. <laughs> little baby man. <laughs> Come on, little girl arms. You can do it. That's my nickname in high school. Oh, yeah. It's your nickname now. Oh, look at that. There's a good piece of it. Oh. Yeah, look. That wasn't just a piece of an echinoid. I couldn't tell. That's a fat echinoid. Look at that. <laughs> that boy's thick. He big boned. He, <laughs> he big boned. <laughs> You want this? 
The fatty boy. Trying to say something. What is that? Dear God. <laughs> Yo, that's a. Uh, he's an ammonite. He's an ammonite. Come on, for sausage. Man, I'm literally standing in a hole right now, dude. Hold oh, my back. Down in a hole and I don't. <laughs> All right, got another sift here. And right off the bat, I noticed this here goblin shark tooth. That is a Scopanorhynchus in surprisingly good condition for being above, like up in this gravel up here. Usually the teeth we find are really worn down, but that's over an inch. That's a really good tooth. Look at the curve on it. Caleb, <laughs> Caleb just screamed like a little cattle. <laughs> Look at there, that big old rat snake going into the rocks. Caleb thought it was a moccasin at first. They don't like snakes. I turned the corner and there was a big old black snake and I thought, oh great, time to get bit. Look at this in this little pocket of gravel. Another really good echinoid. Mm-hmm. A little broken on the top, but I'll take it. Got another little... Oh, he stopped there. No! No! You moved the sifter and it fell through! No! There was a shark too! I'm down in a hole. <laughs> Pain. Okay. Okay. That's a worm. That's a worm. Do not dump this next one out of the sifter, Caleb. Oh, man. There's a cradle and a tooth. It looks like an anterior. So this would have been at the front of the mouth. Kind of sucks it's missing the other root lobe with the side cusp, but hey, I love me some cradle lamina. I will take that any day. Got this, oh, focus. That little thing, that's a button coral. I mean, you can see just how small that thing actually is. That's the head of it. Pretty cool. Wait, 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 Caleb, what'd you say? <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is the tip to a Mosasaur tooth. No I mean, it's huge for what it is. Dude, <laughs> what? I'm just finding a jaw today. Either Mosasaur or Croc. I'm just, I'm, I don't want to drop it. That was a really cool tooth. Though. That is really cool. Yeah, here you go. We're getting them today. All right, Caleb, how many shark teeth we got? I counted 63. He counted 60 and then another number. <laughs> We're somewhere in the ballpark of there's 60. Just, there's so many. A lot of these teeth are really broken and small. We got a couple of good ones in here. Um, got this Crotoxy Rhino tooth right there. That's not too bad. And then this decent goblin tooth right here as well. The curve on that thing is pretty good. Got that curve on. Got that curve. Got that. Got that hook in it. We've got a couple stein kerns here. Mhm. Mm what is that? Five. We have five snail stein kerns. These are pretty beat up. Yeah. But you can see I like that. Really what they were. I like that one. These are three pretty nice ones. Yep. We've got some mammalian jaws. Mm -hmm. Modern, not fossilized. These are two steinkerns from an ammonite. Yeah, this one's kind of ugly, kind of beaten up. You can barely tell. Boy, kind of ugly like This that. one, I have like a collection of a bunch of them that were like this. I just think they're cool to have them. Got a bunch of little teeth in here. Whole lot of little shark's teeth. Did you show this thing? Yeah, yeah, that I'm leaning Mosasaur. Could be yeah, Mosasaur, could be Crocodilian. Not 100% right now. It's very worn. It's lost most of the, almost all of the and enamel. And it's missing on it. the bottom. And it's missing like the bottom. A lot of the bottom. Yeah. Because this would be, if it's a Mosasaur, it would be like, what, at least that big? And It'd it be get, pretty big. It would get pretty yeah. wide. Look at this here. Got all these echinoids that we found. I love these things. I don't know why. It's just they're very aesthetically pleasing. My, yeah, my favorite piece is probably this one here. The, the two for one. The twins. Mm -hmm. Very well preserved, too. And very well preserved. Up. Yep. Got a couple of clams here. Some clam shells. Got this larger one and somewhere over here. Yep. A tiny baby. I think the find... Personally, I think the find of the trip... Is this here? This is the jaw section of a mosasaur. Now that socket right there is where a tooth would have gone in. And where was it? And right there. Yep. Right there. I believe that's where another tooth fit in. Uh, further down the jaw. Uh, it's hard to see right now. 
but you can clearly see what looks to be like the striations of another, another tooth where it kind of rested yep. in the mouth. Mm -hmm. That's a very cool find. That's the first ever Mosasaur jaw piece we found. I'm very happy with that. Probably also not fossilized. Doesn't look fossilized. Yeah. Some sort of vertebrae. I believe it's snake. I want to say snake vert. I think it's just a, a modern snake vert that absorbed a lot of the tannins of the creek yeah. water. And don't ask why these are on pants. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It has since busted, but it is still pretty solid. If I flipped it over, you probably see it a whole lot better. We're looking like a busted Ooh. can of biscuits. Man, oh man. Ammonite. Ammonite. This is a section we found today of what would have been a pretty big ammonite. I want to say huge, pretty big ammonite. See, down the spine there. These, not sure what it is. Kind of looks like a little tube coral. I am not familiar. There also seems to be what sure looks a whole lot like wood. Yeah. In between them, especially um, here. Yeah, you can kind of see it there. Which is really confusing. I'm pretty sure that's lignite. It's not quite petrified wood. It's just the preservation of it. It's very brittle. And actually, if y'all saw that video where we found all those pieces of so-called petrified wood, those are actually lignite. Your big piece of the lignite that you got at your house is uh, shattering and broken. And it looks like this. I think that's everything. That's pretty much it, yeah. Yeah, we had a pretty good haul. 63 shark's teeth, a bunch of other really cool finds, a lot of echinoids and other invertebrates. Ammonites, that's always a fun find. And yeah. And Caleb, I know people have been asking you, where have you been in the past few videos? So why don't you give an, uh, give an update? Yeah, pretty much. I've been uh, having a lot of stuff to do with school and my organization, so I'm a part of, and my undergraduate research. I'm actually a junior aerospace engineering major. Um, so that's been taking up a lot of my time and trying to fit that with Dylan's schedule. It's been hard to do. But yes. finally, the end of the semester is here. I am officially done with my junior year of college. I'll be a senior starting next semester. And I have been offered a pretty awesome internship with an engineering company um, come this summer, and I'm very excited. And that means that Caleb will not be in the next few videos. Unfortunately, I will be. Fortunately, thank goodness. Hey, I can't hey, hate, man, I, hey, I hate this guy. Unfortunately, I'm gonna be like 12 hours away from here Yep. for the summer. Everybody wish Caleb luck in the comments. And stop looking at my pants, you pervert. And, oh, I'm, I'm looking at your pants, I'm looking at your pants. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll I tell you. See ya.